I give you two more principles, then I'll be through. Now, the principle of sanctification. The principle of sanctification. Sasa COVID ilitufuza ya kwamba mimi ni kwa na thani mimi ni mweusi kumbe mshafu. Ok, na tunikula fikiria mimi ni mweusi kwa mikono kumbe nerele nero kuhuko. Kumbe ni mshafu. Sasa tukaoga mikono, tukaoga mikono, tukaoga mikono. Tukakudua ya kwamba ya brown. Eh, kwa ya kwamba, tuko tule ingo kutatua sa kutika. Eh, tuko? We are Nubians. We are brown. Tuko kwa mikono. Sa, churite hini. Iko mikono ya kwa simi saki. Na ukona kushwa kupo. Unasalimia watu a hundred kwa jia. Then, unapati, una, unaenda nyubani. Unashukua kiteki. Na hiyo mikono. Zile mshafu, unaweka kwa tubu. Huu mwaka ni megudua ya kwa ba, watu to wangu, matina haru. <laughs> eh? Hakuna kuendesha, tumendesha tu gani. Kwa kijiri tumendesha. Hmm? Kwa sababu tumewa mikono, kwa hivyo ushakone kwa tukua na naweka kwa tumbo, hakuna. Just imagine how healthy that is. Kana kwa njimura haro. Muko mani mwana kendesha gani? Eh? Muko mani mwana kendesha tu maisha. So it is important for us to be clean to be washed, to be sanctified. Na ukiendelea kwa Bible, hii mambo yote ilikuwa imejaa kwa Bible. Watu walikuwa naambia uende kwa ajili ya usalimie mtu. It is in your Bible. Wanaambiwa ya kwamba wageni wakiingia mumu wake maji msaka sasa hiyo nyumba. These things are in your Bibles. The children of Israel walikuwa wamefuzwa na Mungu hygiene ili wafike Canaan. Lakini sisi tukaitupilia bali. Sasa tumeoga mikono, tumeoga uso na sasa hata magonjwa mengine ya homa na kuendesha imeisha. Sasa tunaendesha tu maisha. We are clean. Kumbe kuna na kitu kwa tumenona ni germs. Hii covid tumekoda. Hii covid tumekoda. Kumbe ni minyo imekoza kitu ya kukula. Kwa sababu tumekuwa wasa, wasaba. Now, what lesson do we learn? We have learned a lesson. We need to be sanctified both emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Anything that defiles your life, you need to say no to it. Kuna mambo inashakuwa roho zetu. Bitterness, anger, hate, lust, resentment, anger. These things pollute our spiritual life. Ogo tura adela mwoko, na tuka adela othio, leke ito zele ginya akono. Leke ito zele ginya meshi ya. Tutakazo kwa akili, tutakazo kwa nasi, tutakazo kwa roho. Let that satisfaction go deep in our hearts. Deep in our minds. We need to be spiritually clean. We need to be spiritually sanctified. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing by the blood of Jesus. Kuna sinema tunaona, kuna picha tunaona, kuna jibo zikira tunaonanga, na zinapoga pornography, ili acute ama mute pornography. We need to sanctify our lives. We need to be clean. God is speaking to us through COVID. Ongura adela mwoko, tuzele goro, na tuzele meshiria, na tuzele maigo, na tuzele matu. Kuna mambo tunasikia ina to pollute. Kuna mambo tunaona ina to pollute. Kuna mambo tunabuza ina tushafua. And my prayer to all of us, may the blood of Jesus sanctify us. May the blood of Jesus cleanse us. May we be separated from God. God is pure. Let us pray that God will purify us and cleanse us and watch us. We need peace of mind. You cannot have peace of mind when you are polluted. The principle of sanctification. May the Lord sanctify all of us in Jesus' name. Kwena wero waka kame ya imani wali muene. Kwena mwe ya aikira agadera na agadera na agadera mehi ya vio. Kwa mita kwa terele, kenye na tothele meshiria, tothele goro. Tutie kukona na mwono matahatu taidia. Tutie kukua mwono matahatu taidia. Bita nesi ya gorori. Marakarama gorori. Kwa na adore. That pollutes your life. May you be sanctified. Somebody say Amen. 
Now, ni mwana kwa mwate mwate tunwa. Ni kule ni COVID na mte ya mwana. Kwa ni mwana ya mwana. Ni mwana ya mwana wajoki kambi. Kwa ni mwana ya mwana huu, wina mwini mwini. Sasa, jishuwa uke ndo wako mwana. Kwa ni mwana ya mwana huu, wina kiro hopi. Kwa ni hivyo hivyo. Kuna watu, kuna okiaka sana kama wale watoto. You do not choose your maths. So maybe kuwa your maths kuna lesson. Otiye kuwa ragi ya mono. Sasa wa? Eh. Otiye kuwa ragi ya mono. Kuwa ragi ya mono kinyo matekoshi. Unaogea, unaogea, unaogea mbaka muzea na anarara kwa ba. Kwa sababu la shidua, akaeda wapi kwe mutumia, mutumia ori ya kipelepele. Wako Federica. Para, para, ikisha tigaka. Kisa ni? Hata baibo, ime advocate separation. Soma baby hako. Hii bibile inasema hivi. Hii baibwe yako. Inasema kama hui karewe ya ruinde. Hadwa hui kala nyumbe mwana mtu ya kemi ite. Aki ya madhani ukai huko na huko ite ya ruinde. Ukai na huko. Kwa desert. Kwa desert. Kwa desert. Kwa desert. Kwa moja na muke wa kipibi. Mwana kere na kere na kere na kere na kere. Kwa kezi wengine hapa mwana kukuza waze wengi kwa kere. Please, huyo mtu hame kutoka mjengo. Huyo mtu hame shoka. Na wewe, unakucha hapa kumpia kerelezi kine. Sisi, tunayendaka kwa nyuba kutafuta amani. Tukikosa amani, tunarudi kule kwa desert. Unayenda nyamasa kitoko. Wekine hapa kama zekaraya, muna kukwe mitomo mezitisa. Ili Johanna Azariwe. Kwa sababu, you always speak in a category. Unaongea ka I can't do, I cannot make it. Siwe zi make. Unaongea ka two negative things. We need to close our mouths for some time. Maybe mungu wa yore tunaokea sana. Na kuna wekini, watu wekini hapa umesa yore sana na mask. Watu wapa muna kutonga pa speech show. Kwa sabu kifaz mask, mask wa, wa mdomo, you can go pray. Hapuna mtu anajua unaopa. You can now go pray. Hapuna mtu anajua unaopa. Sitio? Ete the intro, mata mungu takaki wapa ya watu. Eh? Hamushika kina watu. Sana mask wa kusagia sana. Na wala mungu wa mungu wa muna lipa, muna lipa, eh. Let's We said it because I'm because I'm a good at all that I'm good at all Whatever the case in this idea Now give me the rest of this The rest of this Sometimes we need to muzzle our mouth Sometimes we need to use our mouth the right way These are called COVID lessons And finally brothers and sisters, my time is gone COVID has taught us to seize the season They have to be seizing the season we need to seize the moment. We need to take advantage of opportunities. When we are doing our this is the second Sunday. I was ordaining pastor. So we talk about church. We can keep up with our own story. Our own boy man. Who your pastor got that body? You are na alikuwa na alikuwa to to ordain pastor Uwaja. Who your pastor alikuwa na doizo na shirika wake. Kwani wana tusikibiza hivyo, tunacheka kanisa, alisema unataka, unataka tukodei. I mean, kwa nini, kwa nini tusiweke mimi? Aka sawabia, mimi nikuwa na, mimi nikuwa na fear tufanya hisiku. Just imagine, watu wakajia kwa, 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 kwa hiyo kanisa. Wakatoka kwa kanarobi wakajia kwa hiyo kanisa. Tuka muodei, tuka atakaza uwaja. Kanisa zime kungwa. Na what if that pastor likuwa mepusipolu? Hii maisha ya kechufunza, say no to procrastination. Wacha kupospole mambo. Bari yake kama kwa yuma karimeka. Unasema utapanya kesho, utapanya kesho, utapanya kesho. Aegode kuhika mundu wa kuhulia. Etiko, mchendo li haso. Mundu wa kuhulia, umakana. Etiko, hiwa mbe kusema, hii ya kia ya mstiri ya. Ya siri ya nga mtini wele. Eh? Yuko kana kile mele? Eche praise the body ya kiti aswa? Swarud. Sasa wa? Hii mambo ya kulekareka. Kujifuta, wache kujifuta. If you go down to soma, soma. Go down to the college, to the college, you soma. Whatever you want to do, do it. Don't do it for a better season. Don't do it for a better time. Covid has taught us. To my doctor, we give it. Where is that? Saba. Eh? Eh? Ni mwame ya kukua jia si jia 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 j
Nasipesi mtoto akapoja, akapoja, akapoja. Sasa ni watoto wengi wako shule. Mwani <laughs> Then I can't do that. Then the Bible says, Atirea Akasha Kusa. What does that mean? It means, the auto was shiana. There is a season to burn. Whatever you are supposed to burn, burn it now. Kwa sababu, kuna watu kwa hatu kapika, huo murango utafungwa, hiyo shabda yafanya nini? Itafungwa. COVID has taught us, says the government, says the season, walk in the spirit. Kwa da kwa da ukuri, kwa da uraya, enda. What time China ni kipata hiki? Habana, whatever you're supposed to do it, do it now. Says the moment, says the season. Take advantage of the opportunities that God has given unto you. To Marise, that the principle of faith. Ukona principles kapi mwakapo? Ukona principles kapi mwakapo? Okay, nizako, ata tutemiti ni sawa. Zero meshika ni sawa. Now, let us finish the principle of faith. How did David kill Goliath? Goliath died. Because we have a Goliath. We have fear. We have anxiety. People are worried. Shall we? Really? Shall I? Shall, shall I get better? Because my business is going down. I have no money. What am I supposed to do? Now let us see how David killed Goliath. David killed Goliath by the power of words. Hapo nyamaza. Goliath alikuwa anasema ama anasema nipatie ni mtu nikibuua mtakuwa my slaves. Akidua sisi Philistines tunakuwa your slaves. Alikuwa anaongea. Wakisikia akiongea wote wanatoroka. Daudi alipokuja hakutoroka. Alitumia the power of words. The power of prophecy. The power of declaration, the power of the mouth, the power of speaking. Death and life is in your tongue. Use your tongue wisely. Use your tongue well. Daudi akasimama akasema, who is this who defies the armies of the living God? Akaogea akasema, nitakuwa. Mwili wako utakuliwa na dege wa angani. Aka prophesy the death of God. Let us prophesy and declare the death of every negative thing in our lives. Amen. Somebody say amen. Let us speak to our mountain. When you don't speak to our mountains, our mountains will speak back to us. Are you speaking to your problem? Speak to that problem. If you don't speak to God, God will discourage you. Sema kama kama Paulo. Paulo akasema, I can do all things. Through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Akasema, I can. David used the power of words. The power of declaration. He prophesied the future he wanted. He spoke to his giants. He spoke to his mountain. We need to tell our mountain. Our God is bigger than your mountain. Our God is greater than our giants. Don't keep quiet. Ongea. Washa kunyamaza. Ongea. Then... David has described Akabia Goliado, I can see you dying. The power of vision, the power of imagination, the power of visualization. Daudi alikuwa na maono. Akasema wewe Goliado, naona ulikuwa. Si hivyo tu, naona mwili wako ukikuliwa na tege za angani. Alikuwa na dream. Let's have a dream beyond 2020. Let's have a vision beyond 2020. Let's see ourselves going far. Let's see ourselves breathing. Let's see blessing come our, coming our way. Let's see dreams getting fulfilled. Let us see doors opening for us. One and bear. The far you see is the far you go. Finally, the Bible says David ran towards Korea. Daudi hakujifisha kwa kev. Alikipia akakipia towards Korea. 
when everybody was fleeing and going out again, they turn towards God. They need to cast step towards God. It is important for you to face your fears. What you could you forget? You could buy. You could you forget your money? You na shakura. You could not wash your clothes? You na COVID. What we need today is to wash our hands, to put on our mask, and to put on faith. Kwasa ba mukika kwa nyumba kuna shakura, ukienda inje kuna simba, kuna goya, kuna shida. So if you do, you are down. If you don't do, you are still down. But what we need to do is we need to wear the helmet of salvation. We need to wear the breastplate of righteousness. We need to take the shoe. Our boats to find out what we're supposed to do. You in Kenya, you are there to achieve mungu, to see the fungiye kwa kems kwa uboga, to chukwe atua to enende. God is with us. Our destiny is in the hands of God. Our tomorrow is in the hands of God. Our future is in the hands of God. And I declare to you, you are giants who die. You shall live beyond your giant. Akamaliza kasema ya kuamba. Every person shall know that there is a God in them. Atikira kutu atajua ya kwamba kuna mungu Israeli. This is what God is speaking to us. This is what God is saying. Goliath shall die and we shall testify. Goliath shall die and we shall testify. Kwa huya ni sema ni takuwa watu wote wa kia ya kwamba kuna mungu Israeli. Alikuwa sema in simple English ya kwamba ni takuwa na next year ni takuwa ushuna. I declare to you, you shall testify. We shall survive. We shall outlive COVID. We shall testify how God provided unto our needs. We shall testify how God protected us. We shall testify how God healed us. We shall testify how God opened doors for us during the COVID season. I declare to you, you shall testify next year. Me become a pastor where you, I shall testify next year. Eh, ushida wa kujaza 2017, ikuje 2019, ikuje 2020. Itiadika tutabu. Tutabia watu ya kwamba, God protected us, God was with us, God provided for us. Matu iti etie meikuwa ine, gai age tojitira moko maake. Gai age tojomora mwato kaide. Gai age tojikone ya mirako, age tojwebe shekoli hanyomba, shekoli hanyitima. Tukikwa adhu tiche luteno cheke nete na. Amen. Murati Do I have a Do I have a Do I have a